All right, so we'll do histology of the liver and the flow of secretions and blood uh, through the liver. So it all kind of begins, let's, let's say, with the hepatocyte. So each one of these is a hepatocyte. That's the living functional cell of the liver. And that's what processes the blood, the detoxification, the conversion of chemicals to chemicals, the production of bile, right? So this is the, the nucleus of the hepatocyte, and that is the hepatocyte, each one of those. In between, you can see the bile canaliculi small microscopic tubes that collect the bile made by the hepatocyte. So bile is flowing this way, collected to larger ducts, to larger ducts, to larger ducts, bile ducts, ultimately going to the right or left hepatic duct, ultimately going to the bottom part of the Y, the common hepatic duct, ultimately going to the common bile duct to the duodenum. As a bile. The other way, blood is entering here and flowing across the hepatocytes and then being collected in the center of the liver lobule in this kind of central drain known as the central vein. So it flows like this. So we have red, we have blue. Red is very simple. This is a branch coming off of the common hepatic artery, right? The hepatic artery proper. That's a branch off of the celiac trunk. Hepatic artery proper. This is not it. This is a branch from it. An arteriole. Coming off of that would be capillaries. Arteriole, capillaries, right? We're on a cellular level. So these are capillaries. They're in, woven in between the cells. Their job is to simply bring oxygenated and nutrient-rich blood to feed these guys. Feed these cells with their needs. So as they bring the oxygenated blood in, as the hepatocytes remove the oxygen, the blood becomes deoxygenated. And it's going to make its way out of the liver, ultimately. All right. So this is an arteriole, a branch off of the common um, hepatic artery proper, well, hepatic artery proper, we should say. Capillary flowing like so. That's from the heart. We have another set. Okay, another vessel, all right? This is a branch coming off of the hepatic portal vein. The hepatic portal vein is the large vein running from the intestine to the liver. So this is a branch coming off of that. It's an arterial, it's small branch. It's an arterial because what's coming off of that is capillaries. These capillaries and these capillaries are slightly different. These are sinusoidal capillaries, meaning they have large gaps between the cells. So you can see the cells that make up the wall of the capillary. This is a simple squamous epithelial cell with a nucleus. That's the endothelium, right? Outlined here in black, this one and this one, that's living on the vessel. Those are able to move throughout. These are Kupfer cells. These are white blood cells, derivatives of macrophages uh, that move through uh, the, the liver cells for immune function, right? So you see both of those. So this is bringing blood from the intestine. So it's nutrient rich, possibly toxin rich, blood from the intestine, somewhat deoxygenated to the liver cells, hepatocytes to be processed. So here it is trickling in. The sinusoids bring it in. They have big open gaps. The fluid and contents of the vessel bathe the cells, the cells process it, and then it's collected up here in the central vein. And then that is gonna ultimately go to larger vessels, which is ultimately gonna go to the right and left hepatic veins, ultimately to the inferior vena cava. The last thing that's here is this yellow thing. This is lymphatic system. So these are lymphatic capillaries. There's gonna be lots of lymphatic capillaries because these are sinusoids. Lots of fluid coming out. That fluid has to be recollected by the lymphatic and we know what that does. It carries it off through the lymph nodes. Lymph nodes filter it and ultimately the lymph will be dumped back into the inferior vena cava, right? Into the vena cava, back into the heart.